Hello everybody. I'm in Adobe Animate and I have some symbols here uh, that I'm going to use in in my animation. These symbols came from freevector.com and I'm allowed to use them as long as I give credit to freevector.com. I've got some brown plants, a frog, some green plants, a lizard, a snake, and a turtle. So the brown plants. Now I would like to build a background first. So let's see, let's get rid of this layer so that you can see this. I will double click this layer one in the timeline and call it background. Background and hit return. Now my stage is white. Let's go to properties on the right hand side of your screen. My stage is white. I'd like to change the whole stage to be another color so I'll go to where it says stage in the properties panel and click on that white and let's change the stage to let's say blue. Now I would like some green ground here so I will go into my tools panel on the far right of your screen and get the rectangle tool. Now, I will not have a stroke on it, but I do want to go in the fill and get a pretty green. Let's just get a nice green that'll brighten it up. Okay. Now, I will just draw a rectangle at the bottom. And I know it's bright, but this is going to be a cartoon. So, now, I would like to get the Move Tool again, Selection Tool. Go to the library. Let's get some of this foliage. Here's some brown plants. I will click on the brown plants icon in the library panel and drag some brown plants out. Ah, uh, guess what guys? That's kind of large. I'm realizing that most of these symbols are kind of large. So let's delete that brown plant. Let's go back into the library panel. And right now, if you look at the top left of your screen, you'll see we're in scene one. But I'm going to double click on these symbols and edit them. So let me go double click on brown plants icon in the library. Now do you see I'm no longer in scene one. It says brown plants. I will go the second tool beneath the selection tool, the free transform tool. I will hold the shift key and drag on a corner to make those brown plants smaller. Now if I go back into scene the brown plants disappear because I was only editing the brown plants. Now let's bring brown plants out and drag it there. That's pretty good for my scene. Okay. Let's put that, let's put that up a little higher. Let's get another one out too. Okay, we'll get brown plants. We'll put that one kind of in front of it so that we've got quite a few little brown plants. Let's get some more too. Let's get another one and let's put it like right there. So I've got a whole bunch of brown plants there. Okay, let's get a green plant, but let's double click on it in the library panel See, that's pretty large too, so I will hold with the trans free transform tool, I'll hold the shift key and drag on a corner of the green plant. Ah, let's make that one really small. Now, when I go to the top left corner of my screen and click on screen one, let's go get green plants out of the library and just set it right there in the corner. So now my background's complete. I will go in the timeline and click on the lock. Next I would like to bring my frog in and I would like to have him animated with a preset that's available in Adobe Animate. So let's go back to Animate. In the timeline I will click this new layer button and I will call it, double click on that layer and call it frog, the frog, and hit return. 
Now I will be on keyframe one. Let's just go over to keyframe 75. And what I'm going to do is click and drag down both of these layers and then right click on one of those frames and say insert frame. Now I have all of these frames here that I can animate across. So on keyframe one of the frog, let's bring the frog in. I will click out of the library, drag the frog in. He is terribly big. So let's delete him. Let's double click on the frog in the library so that we can get to the frog. Now with the free transform tool, I will hold the shift key and drag him, make him a lot smaller. Also, I want him going the other direction. So I will go into Modify, Transform, Flip Horizontally. So now my symbol, the frog symbol, is smaller and he's going the other direction. So I'll click back on Scene 1. Now, with the frog layer selected in the timeline, and I selected Keyframe 1, I will drag a frog out. Now I'm going to bring the frog up higher off of my stage because I want to show you a preset animation you can do with that frog. I will click on the frog and I can still use the free transform tool and move things around. So I'll keep that because I'm going to be transforming other things. Now if you look in these icons on the right hand side of your screen, there are like three little dots going up. It says Motion Presets. Click on that. And I'm going to bounce this dot frog in. So I will click that one. And you see what it's doing. And I will click Apply. Why I chose 75 frames is because it takes 75 frames for that animation to work. Now let me zoom out. I'm going to go Command or Control minus so you can see where that frog's going. I may, let's click, let's uh, first hit the return key and see what that frog's doing. See how he bounces? And he sort of stays there. On this frame, 7A5, I may go ahead, let's zoom in by Command plus plus. I may go ahead and take that bottom dot and move him clear off the screen on his uh, on his motion path. Now let's go Command minus so we can get the screen. First of all, there's a button next to this 135% at the top of your window here. I will go center that. Okay, or else we can also go view magnification fit when fit window now let's hit the return key and see what that frog does he just kind of bounces and goes out of the screen so that's how you would do a preset animation the next thing I would like to do is to bring the turtle in and have him go across the screen and make him become smaller as he fades away so let's go get the turtle I will click on the turtle in the library, sitting on this side of my screen. Whoops, first of all, we need to create a new layer for the turtle. Double click, call it turtle, and hit return. Now let's bring the turtle out. I'll put him on this side of the screen. There he is, he's pretty big. Now, on his layer in the timeline, I will right click and say create motion tween. Now I was on keyframe one. I will bring my mouse or my cursor over to keyframe or to frame 75. I will bring my turtle. I will move him up to this part of the screen. So I've put a motion on him. Now I have 
the free transfer tool selected, I will shift and drag on the corner of that turtle, make him smaller, bring him down there. Also, if I go in the properties, be sure you click on the turtle, under color effect, I can go to alpha and just fade him away. This is 100% if I set the slider to the right and he fades away when I set the alpha slider to zero. Now let's play this. I will hit the return key. My turtle just fades away. The next thing I'm going to do is create a layer see and double click it and call it snake and hit return now I'm going to bring the snake out and I will bring him and put him on the right hand side of my screen there he is and I may make him a little smaller I'm actually on keyframe one when I do this now my snake I'm going to have him glow as he goes to the left. So I will go on the snake layer and right click and say create motion tween. I will bring my slider over to 75. Bring my snake over to the right hand side or left hand side. And now under properties, there is a filter. And I will pick plus down at the bottom here and I will put a glow on my snake. I don't want a red glow. I want a yellow glow. And I think I'll make the glow a little bigger so he's got quite a glow. So let's see what happens if we play this. As he goes across, he gets a glow on him. As he comes across, he has a glow. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to give attribution to freevector.com. I am going to go to the end of my timeline and click on the 76th frame. and then right and drag down and then right click and say insert frame now i am going to do a layer above that snake on the top and name it website okay now i am actually going to go on the website's layer on keyframe 76 just click it. Don't slide down to catch all of the layers, but just that one. And right click and say, convert that 76 frame to a keyframe. Now, at this point, I will take the type tool, which is in your tools panel. I will change the color to white. And I already have a Hobo standard font. And I will click and drag across and type www.freevector.com and if I get the move tool I can center this or put it wherever I want it I'll put it right in the center okay now let's play this hit the return key And this is how our movie ends. Our animation ends and we've given attribution for all these little critters that I have in this animation to freevector.com. So there's a lot of other things you can do with your symbols. You can experiment, but these are some basic ones that you can use in your animation. Good luck and have fun.